Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obita Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today we're checking out Dungeon Tycoon. Uh, this is a very peculiar game indeed. I'm going to jump into things as ever. I'm going to explain what the heck is going on. Uh, however, I'm first going to turn down the uh, the music because it is a little loud. There's none in the menu, but there is actually in the game. So getting in and turning that down immediately is a uh, is a very important thing to do. So this is Dungeon Tycoon. It's a management tycoon game. Uh, you play as the dungeon master, and this is the sort of canvas that we have to work with here. The premise is very, very simple. We want to create a compelling experience for all of our intrepid hero customers. Um, we have got, we've got like a little entrance thing over here. This is like, I, I don't know, the the, the knight from Monty Python's, uh, whatever the case, uh, we can adjust the entrance fee. Five, five coins seems fine to me at the moment. Uh, we can see that when we open our dungeon, uh, we're going to have 11 visitors, just 11 warriors, regular warriors. Uh, this will change as we go. And basically, we've got a little star rating up here. Uh, we want to try and make a prestigious and compelling dungeon for everyone to attend. Right, so we've got a few little objectives to go through. Build a door. Uh, we can do that very, very simply. We'll go into uh, build mode here. We'll throw an iron door into this room. Excellent. Thank you for the uh, little tutorial spider, but I'm, I'm fine with that. Uh, we can also build ourselves a wooden chest over here. Uh, we can put that down in the corner over there. It's going to cost me some uh, some coins, but that's not uh, that's not too big of a deal. And let's also build a spawner as well. There's a few different things that we can build at the moment. Nothing crazy, uh, but we will um, we will we will work on that as we go. Let's get a small spawner right over there, and we will equip this spider that is giving me all of the uh, the instructions to the spawner. Nothing crazy. It's just a small little. It's just a small little spider. But that is uh, that is it. That is the premise. Uh, we will start the next day pretty much immediately. There we go, uh, and we will go into two times speed, and we will see what happens. Uh, and this is basically the gameplay loop. So we got a little, we got a little visitor. You pay me five bucks to enter. Uh, you come in here. You've got a little, uh, a little happiness stat. Uh, there we go. You are very, very happy. You make away with some, uh, some loot. Oh no, you're not happy because there is, uh, because there is no loot. So we basically want to provide, we want to provide a, a start to finish experience, a start to finish experience for our dungeon. Also, I should have pointed out, uh, we got a couple of, um, we got a couple of, of different monsters. We can summon new monsters for 250 coins. We'll do that soon. Uh, we also have a little bit of research to do. Um, I should have equipped that at the start of the day. It's not necessarily the end of the world. Unlocks a potion dispenser if we get 10 visitors. Uh, some coins, uh, some little inputs, outputs, etc. Uh, and we also have some little missions here as well, which we will get to. Right, back into three times speed. That's good. Expenses are looking fine. You're going to fight this spider. Excellent. We are going to start to see a little bit of an increase on the uh, on the prestige on the prestige chart there. That's quite good. I kind of would like to summon new monsters. Um, this spider is taking a little bit of time to recharge before it uh, before it's back to life and before it's ready to rock and roll again. Yeah, probably going to want to summon a new a new monster. Yeah, come back at another time. I don't know if we're going to finish this research today. The more the merrier as far as I'm concerned. Also, I'm not quite sure what this is. Yeah, I don't know. Just a little sort of candle area. Okay, a little shrine thing. That's fine. Okay, either way, not too bad. Do I want to increase the price of my dungeon? Potentially. Potentially. I might want to do that. Uh, you'll note, by the way, that... Um, ooh, it's a locked chest. Uh, you'll note, by the way, that we don't actually lose any money. We don't actually lose any money uh, from from this interaction. The spider is killed. It gives uh, it gives 10 bucks. Happy days. Uh, killing monster sends their loot into containers within the same room, which heroes can then collect. We don't lose the money, which is great. So we don't actually, we don't actually pay a price for, uh, for the, uh, for the visitors actually looting stuff. Now, I don't have the potion research yet, but that's not necessarily the end of the world. Can I summon a new monster? Let's see what we summon. What have we got? It's a small slime. That's fine. It gives us 18 loot. Uh, okay, I mean, I'm happy with that. Let's see if we can try and let's see if we can try and get a new spawner. Do we have enough for a new spawner? Not quite yet. Uh, coffin decoration for coffin? No. Uh, nothing crazy. What about a spike trap? 
Sure, we'll do a spike trap. Right, let's open let's open it up just sort of immediately. I think we just need we just need more we just need more visitors. We just need more visitors. We got a lot of we got a lot of stuff to be getting on with. There we go. Good stuff. Well done. The spike trap is well, I hope making people feel a little bit more alive. That's the dream anyway. Um, you'll see, by the way, that some of these people, some of these people have, I think actually all of them have, uh, have potions, a health potion, which should allow them to heal up if they get too low. There we go, they use the health potion, bada bim, bada boom. I'm hopefully going to be able to sell even more potions to these, to these suckers, which is going to be quite good. Either way, uh, this is all building towards, this is all building towards something, you know, kind of unique, kind of novel, which I kind of like. Maybe let's put up our price a little bit. Let's go eight. Let's see if uh, let's see if that maybe damages happiness a little bit uh, a little bit too much. Oh, you you died. That's the oh that's uh, the summoning thingy there. Well, that wasn't exactly ideal, but that's fine. If we're able to extort a little bit more money. Okay, apparently apparently eight coins is just too much. We'll go for six coins then. Everybody should have a potion, so nobody should be uh, nobody should be dying. Although if people walk on the spike trap, then uh, then that may cause people to to die. But you know what? Honestly, not necessarily the end of the world. Uh, yeah, souls serve as a valuable second, uh, secondary currency. They can be utilized to enhance your monsters. You can acquire them by killing heroes. However, remember to maintain a balance because uh, if we kill heroes, then people are going to be unhappy with the dungeon. So there we go. Anyway, research has been completed. What did we get? This is our potion research. Potion dispenser allows visiting heroes to purchase potions whenever they need a quick heal. That is exactly what we need. Uh, yeah, maybe we do need to increase the entrance fee a little bit. Okay, what do we got here? Uh, defense totem, wooden decoration, or light sources. I'm gonna take light sources. Uh, actually... Oh, I guess we need to complete that one. That's fine. That's not a problem. Right, so sell five potions. That's cool. We'll try and do that in order to get some scrolls. Uh, we will place a potion dispenser if I have the cash to do so. Do I have the cash at the moment? Uh, misc objects potion dispenser? Sure, let's, let's do it. Let's put it in the corner here. That sounds like a great idea. Excellent. Okay, nothing else that I'm particularly bothered about. That's good. Uh, 15 coins for a potion? This is gonna be, this is gonna be my big, uh, this is gonna be my big dealio. If we're able to, if we're able to immediately... If we are able to immediately sell a bunch of potions, then that would uh, that would make me very happy indeed. So yeah, you're gonna you're gonna end up damaging yourself, hopefully to the point where, yep, there you go, you use your potion. I'm hopefully going to encourage somebody to buy a potion from the corner here. No, looks like we need to do a little bit more damage. Uh, I tell you what, there might be a strategy where we build a, a, a sort of secondary room. We just have spike trap, spike trap, spike trap, then a potion, and then into the sort of loot room. Oh, interesting. You're buying a secondary potion because you've got the cash. So there could be there could be logic. There could be logic in me uh, reducing the price of entry in order to encourage people to buy uh, an additional potion. Although it looks like people are buying potions just quite simply if they have the cash. Yeah, I need to get I need to get more rooms. I need to get more stuff set up. Not necessarily the end of the world. Yeah, would definitely like to get myself an additional spawner. I think that's, I think that's kind of what we need to do. It's very polite of the spider to wait for the, uh, for the potion transaction to be completed. But that's fine. Sell five potions. We're getting there. Research one items in the research tree. Absolutely, I'll take that. Uh, research, uh, sell five potions. I think we might get that done today, maybe, potentially. We're gonna get a whole bunch of cash. I'll collect this, uh, this little, this little thingy. We'll get ourselves a secondary, we'll get ourselves a secondary spawner, which is good. That's definitely gonna allow us to get across the line in terms of, uh, in terms of spawnage. How much do I need for that additional potion thingy? No, not far off, not far off. Okay, the day is almost done. We have got maybe two visitors left maybe one visitor left if you pick up the potion that would make me very very happy chappy indeed no you didn't even have time okay that's fine we need to increase our dungeon rating indeed we do right let's see if we can try and get another spawner small spawner let's go here and out of build mode let's equip a slime 
I could get another I could get another spider spawner. Uh, but I feel like a slime spawner is gonna be kinda cool. Right. Don't need to worry about that. We got 12 visitors coming. That's pretty good. Did we sell additional potions? No, we're still getting to that. Host 12 visitors in one day. We can absolutely manage to do that. We can absolutely manage to do that. Uh, yeah, we're all good. We're all good. Total income, sales. All right, let's let's uh, let's go. I'm expecting a few deaths today. I think... Um, well, you're actually in the wrong direction, but I don't think that's going to make a difference. I'm expecting a few deaths today. It's going to be a little bit... Uh, it's going to be a little bit touch and go. We want to make sure that, you know, people are softened up. There we go. Good. Okay, well, you know, some people are going to be very, very happy. Other people are going to be very, very disappointed. But that's okay. Right. What do we got? Sell five potions, ten scrolls. Excellent. Host 12 visitors. We'll hit that. Kill seven visitors. We might do that today, actually. We might do that today. Look at this. This is a proper, this is a proper questing operation. Brilliant. Really, really good. And in fact, you know, a couple of deaths, I think, go a long way. This is making people feel like, uh, making people feel like there's actually a little bit of competition going on here. Yes, please, please purchase more, uh, more potions. That's brilliant. Okay. Research is finished. That's good. We'll get, uh... We'll get that finished, but we have to wait until the end of the day before doing that. You're going to die today. Yeah, 100%, you're going to die. Brilliant. That's kind of exactly what we want to see. Another death. That's that's really, really good. Another death? No, not quite yet, unfortunately. Oh, you just died on the spike trap. Sucks to be you, buddy. Ooh, I can extract the gold for five souls. I don't think that that's particularly what I want to do. I want to keep the souls. The souls are more valuable for me at the moment. Right, uh, we got the light sources research done, which is good. Happy with that. Will I be able to use it for anything? More visitors? It's not bad, actually. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Right, what about an attack totem? Defense totem? Sure. Let's let's throw that let's throw that in there. Uh, right. Twelve visitors in one day. We got it. Mushrooms. I'll take mushrooms. Whatever the heck that means. Kill seven visitors. We're heading towards heading towards that. Very nice. Uh, do I want to get a secondary chest? Actually, I could get a pot. What about a pot? Let's get a pot. Let's throw that down. See if that makes a difference. Right. Anything else that I want to get right now? Another small spawner. Let's do it. Let's get another small spawner. See what we can see what we can throw in. Uh yeah, let's get a crawler. In fact, I can't get a crawler. What am I talking about? Uh, I need to summon a new monster before we can actually utilize that. Honestly, not necessarily the end of the world. Kill seven visitors, research one item in the research tree. Fifteen visitors left. Are we gonna do that today? Unfortunately not by the looks of things. Yeah, unfortunately, we should just miss that. Let's put the price up ever so slightly on the potion dispenser and go into multiple times speed there very good okay we're gonna we're gonna see a few deaths today for sure we're gonna see a few deaths yeah definitely nothing that i can do with that loot the other pot there you go multiple pots for people to loot that's got to be a more, you know, satisfying experience. Oof, you guys didn't have a very good time. You didn't even come across the monster. Well, you know, it's luck of the draw, isn't it? It's luck of the draw. Either way, I think this is a good balance. I think this is a good balance of, like, deaths to, you know, deaths to enjoyment. Deaths to enjoyment. That's kind of what, uh, that's kind of what we're all about. Kill seven visitors. Yep, we're very, very close to that. And the research thingy as well. We'll, we'll almost get there, too. Beautiful. Purchase a potion. You got some loot. There you go. I do love I do love killing them on the spike trap on the way out. That's pretty satisfying. Right, let me yoink that. Sell 11 potions we'll get. I'll collect that, uh, that coinage as well. That's pretty good. 11, 11 souls. This is this is good. We're definitely we're definitely heading in the right direction. Our prestige is our prestige is, is going up. Uh, the next stage is going to be building, like, multiple, multiple layer dungeons, I think, isn't it? Right. Uh, can I... So, defense totem I'm getting. More visitors. Permanently get one extra visitor. For 20... For 20 visits? That seems like a no-go from my perspective. I... 
increase the pres the prestigiousness. Candelabra. Sure, let's do that. I mean, that is going to make the place look nice. A little bit of crystal ore as well. Ah, sure, what the heck. That might increase, might increase things ever so slightly. And I need to summon a new monster. 250, 250 bucks. I've already got the spawner down. Honestly, that is the biggest investment. Let's, uh, let's immediately move ahead. This is not a very spooky dungeon, all things considered. It's, it's just quite a, quite a mishmash of ideas. There we go. Oh, lucky you. The person that went to loot both of these pots first, uh, got a good deal there. But, you know, I think everybody's everybody's having a good time. Everybody's having a good time, for the most part. Nobody's leaving unhappy. If they do die, you know, that's the that's the cost of doing business. You kind of just have to accept that, you know, some people are some people are gonna die. Let's increase the price ever so slightly. There we go. I think we can I think we can deal with it. As long as I hit 250 bucks by the end of the day, that'll make me very, very happy. Uh, that research objective we're gonna finish. Sell eleven potions. We might actually get that done by the end of the day as well. Which is quite good. Oh, do I actually only store five potions in that potion dispenser? I guess that won't be um I guess that won't be fixed until the end of the day, which is a little bit of a daft situation, but uh, not necessarily the end of the world. Okay. Do I need do I need to raise my price, my entrance fee? I don't think I do, you know. I don't think I do. I think we're fine. I think we're fine on the entrance fee. I think we're fine on the entrance fee situation. Right, 13 visitors tomorrow. Our prestige, I don't want to say it's going through the roof, but it's definitely increasing. Right, what have we got? This is a defense totem. Place in your dungeon, give uh, give heroes better chance of survival. Honestly, I think with like one singular death, not necessarily the end of the world. Unlocks the respawn pedestal. Unlocks the iron chest with bigger capacity, wooden decorations, attack totem. Give me the, give me the uh, more visitors, sure. I know I complained about it just a minute ago, but that's fine. Research that, collect spider eggs. That'll probably be cool. Uh, let's summon a new monster. I'm desperate to summon a new monster. I'm desperate to summon a new monster. Let's, uh, yeah, we do that through this interface here. Right, summon a new monster. Boom. Let's see what we get. Ooh, a wraith. Okay, it's uncommon. I'm fine with that. Let's get ourselves, let's get ourselves a wraith in here. Right, now I'm definitely expecting deaths. I know that I say that every day, but I'm, I'm, I'm expecting some deaths today. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to check is sp Spider eggs, coffin, mushrooms, spider eggs. That's gonna cost me 25 bucks a piece, so not gonna manage to do that today, unfortunately, because I spent all of my cash on uh, on this wraith. Is that the end of the world? No, far from it. In fact, it's actually completely fine. You're dead, buddy. You're dead. You're 100% dead. There we go. Look at this. Lots of deaths. Lots of deaths. But, you know, a few happy adventurers are gonna have a great time. They're going to have an absolutely marvelous time. Okay. Looted, looted. Oh, sorry for you, buddy. You're probably going to die. Yeah, okay. Uh, we are maybe going to see a little bit of a uh, repetitive death situation here. Although, I mean, it actually looks okay. Okay, I am, I am, I am maybe, <laughs> I am maybe overkilling my visitors a little bit. So yeah, maybe a defense totem or something like that. That would be pretty good to get down. Haven't sold as many potions today as I would really, really have wanted to. Um, host 14 visitors in a day. We're not going to be able to do that, unfortunately. Uh, reduce the price. Reduce the price down to 15. See if that makes a difference. Please buy my potions. Please buy my potions. No, I need I just, ah four people to buy my potions. That's a shame. Okay, uh, we got a few we got a few debts. We got a few debts. My prestigiousness is fine. Host fourteen visitors in one day. We actually did that. I was surprised that we did, but that's okay. I'll collect my three hundred coins. Potions. We got to get that done tomorrow. We hundred percent have to get that done tomorrow. How much is it going to cost me for a defense totem? 
How much are you going to talk to me for a defense totem? Let's build it there. Let's get some more decorations. Let's get a coffin. Right. Let's get some spider eggs. Let's get some mushrooms. What else? Another pot? No, don't feel like I need another pot. Misc objects. I could do with a potion dispenser. Spike trap could do with another spike trap. I mean, the problem with the spike trap is that it just does it just does damage, you know. And I, I'd, I'd I'd rather I'd rather have people fighting, you know, than anything else. Give me a second potion dispenser. Maybe not a, a, a tremendous idea, but we'll we'll leave it as is. If I adjust the price, it's independent pricing. Okay, let's leave them both at sixteen. Uh, six visitors left before we get that permanent visitor boost. Kill thirteen visitors. Probably not going to happen today, but we will get there. Uh, the potions, we might get that across the line today as well. That would be good if possible. You're hundred percent going to die today. Yeah, there's going to be a there's going to be a few deaths. We're expecting a few deaths today. Doesn't look like our loot is really overflowing altogether too much. There's definitely a little, uh, you know, a little looting going on. But uh, but it's not a big it's not a big deal. The, the chest is never overflowing. Uh, we can extract the gold if we want to, but I don't really feel I don't really feel compelled to. Everybody's buying from this potion dispenser, which is great. Don't get me wrong. I love the fact that we're selling potions. It's fantastic. Oh, research one items in the research tree. We're gonna get that done today as well, which is quite good. You're dead as well. Okay. Well, we can't really complain. We cannot really complain. It's a good mix, a uh, good mix of operations. Potions, people unhappy about the price of potions. I've already got my potion quest, so do I really care? Not particularly. Not particularly at all. Yeah, I need to do I need to do something with my secondary currency. I've not found, you know, a legitimate reason to do anything with it yet. Yes, feed me your debts. Feed me your debts. Poor guy. Well, you gave me lots of souls. That's what matters, I suppose, isn't it? There we go. Lots and lots of souls. Brilliant. Okay, one extra visitor per day. Fantastic. I'll take it. Beautiful. And I'll take this. And I'll take this. Sell 15 potions. Sell 15 potions. Host 16 visitors in a day. 16 visitors a little bit of a... A little bit of a tough ask, but that's okay. We'll collect our cash. Right, what do we got in the research tech tree? Got the more visitors. Respawn pedestal. It's a bit of an ask, isn't it? Wooden decoration. Give me wooden decoration, sure. Let's see what we can build here. I definitely want to get another monster spawner. Definitely want to get another monster spawner. Because what the heck, right? I mean, I want to discover as many monsters as I possibly can. Give me a new monster. Whatever it is, I will equip it. It's a goblin. Uh, I will equip it right here. Let's get it. Uh, let's get it going. That's good. Uh, this is a defense totem, right? I need to get a... I need to get an attack totem. We don't have any other decorations to place down. No, tell a lie, we got skulls to place down. That's going to make a little bit of a difference. Do I want to move any of these things around here? Yeah, I can move things a little bit. Still fine. A wall torch? I mean, not gonna make a difference. That's fine. That's fine. All right, 15 visitors. Let's freaking let's freaking do it. Uh, what do I need to do? 16 16 visitors, 15 potions. 15 potions is a tough ask, but that's okay. Let's see how this goblin does. Now, I might anticipate. I might anticipate that uh, that loot wise. We go a little bit, uh, yeah, I don't think that we're going to have enough space in this chests for all the, for all the loot that we're going to discover. Okay, a few souls today, that's good. Yeah, it might be worth us getting some additional loot. Uh, some additional loot storage space here. Well, I, I think people are having a grand old time. Our prestige is definitely heading in the right direction. We don't exactly want to make it too easy. 
I should also just extract the gold, you know, a couple of times here. Save from the pot. What if I lock it? What's that gonna do? Let's have a look, shall we? Locked, locked, locked. Extract the gold. Yoink. Thank you, that's mine. Okay, so sure, a few people are unhappy with me, but, I mean, honestly. Give me a break. I think, I don't, I don't know if there's many, uh, I don't know if there's many things that I can extract with, or I can do with this secondary currency, so I'm just gonna continue to yoink. I'm gonna continue to yoink everything from these, uh, from these chests here. Thank you very much. Oh, that was good. I feel like I, I feel like I made off with a pretty incredible amount of gold there. Uh, wooden decorations, happy days, shelves and barrels. I don't really particularly care about that. More rooms, more room sizes. That's very, very important. 15 visitors in one day, 16 visitors in one day. Yeah, close but no biscuit. Let's, um, let's do decorations. Shelves, barrels, skulls and whatnot we've already got. Uh, spawner, build a spawner here in anticipation for what comes next. We're not going to be able to do anything about it today, I don't believe. But I think tomorrow. Tomorrow might be tomorrow might be our opportunity. I'm just going to continue to yoink. I'm going to continue to yoink these, uh, these, these coins. Every time people go in and just die, you love to see it. Oh, yes. Give me my... I mean, it is technically my gold, right? Oh, no. The container was empty. Well... That's okay. I'm I'm perfectly happy to trade, you know, short-term short-term satisfaction in order to get a little bit of cash. In fact, that seems like exactly what a dungeon master should be doing, you know. There we go. Take that. Take that. Yes, please. So if more people could die, then I will be I will be good. Has anybody bought a potion from this second potion dispenser here? I don't know if they have actually. Extract the gold, extract the gold. What an absolute deal this is. This is, this is absolutely criminal. Wowzers. This is, this is fantastic. Really, really good. There we go. And you know what? People seem to be happy. And is that anything to complain about? No. You know, that's a reason to be, that is a reason to be happy. I've got 500 bucks. And I have done very little in order to get it. Just keep killing, just keep killing the monsters. It's free, it's literally free real estate. It's literally free real estate. Okay, fantastic. Uh, this is gonna give me more rooms, is it? Yes, 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 yes. We've got some more rooms, that's good. More visitors too, more rooms too. Attack totem, give me attack totem, sure. 15 potions, gosh darn, we're not quite there. Treasure pile, 450 coins. We're, 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 we're moving in the right direction, that's for sure. Uh, right, let's summon a new monster. See what you've got. Got a skeleton. That's fine. It's good. It's even more loot. Oh yeah, I probably should get I probably should get an additional chest, an iron chest. Yeah, I've I've already set the attack totem to be the thing that we research now, but whatever. That's fine. Right. Uh do I want to even build a secondary room? I mean Yes. Yes, I do. A 5x5 five five room, a 12x5 room. That's a lot of money to invest. An 8x8 eight eight room. What, what size is this? 8x6, 5x5, 5x12. Let's build that there. Let's build a door here. There is literally nothing that we can put in this room. We'll throw a mushroom... And a shelf down? We can't even put anything else down. To be fair, I mean, we don't have the cash to do it. Let's, uh, let's go to the next day. Let's go to the next day. Might be good to move our potion machine, actually, into the second room. But let's get room, corridor, you know, with an enemy in, and then another room at the end here. And for now, obviously, we're, we're gonna have this cash cow of a room here. There we go. Yoink, yoink. I need to maybe be a little bit more strategic about my yoinking. Empty container. Oh no, some people are unhappy. Tough, I'm afraid. 
I need I need money to expand my operation. Oh my goodness gracious me. I tell you what, the, the skeleton, the skeleton gives mega loot. That is a, a looty, looty boy. Uh, yeah, we should really increase our chest capacity. If we're able to increase our chest capacity, then we're going to be golden. We're not even having many deaths anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm really losing. I'm losing the ability to, uh, to collect, to yoink from the chests. I need to start killing some more people. We need better and bigger monsters. I need more rooms. I need more monsters. I need to move this crystal thing as well. Collect the cobwebs. Collect the potions thing. Okay. Good. Honestly, a little... A few deaths at the end of the day. That goes a long way. It's quite nice. There we go. Okay. Okay. Ooh, look at this. We're going to get ourselves some uh, some different types of uh, visitors. Some some higher class some higher class of, uh, of visitors, which is kind of cool. Okay, 14 deaths. That's not too bad. 86% happiness. That's not bad at all. Right. Complete that. Get me some extra coins. It's pretty good. Kill 16 visitors. We'll probably get that done tomorrow. Iron chests. Let's do... Uh, right, so here's my situation. Here's my situation. I'd like to I'd like to rejig things a little bit. Five by five room at the end here. That's too lame. Sure. We'll try and like build a legit actual dungeon here. Move that in there. Uh, move you into here. Move you out of the way. Nice. And then we'll place a pot in here. So that can be looted. That can be looted. Yeah, I mean, this is... It looks so bad. Is this cobwebs, is that... I mean, it looks good. Does it actually allow people to traverse through? I don't know. That's the only, that's the only issue. Let's maybe put it in here just to be on the safe side. Barrel. Let's get some more sort of decorative stuff. Skulls. Oh, I need to make sure that I've got a door right in here. Iron door for a little bit of sophistication. Spider eggs. That's cool. That looks good. That looks good. That means that we can basically get to basically get across the line, uh, I think. Now, do I want another spawner? I'd love another spawner. I don't think I can afford to get... You know, I'm going to place a spawner down here. Okay, can't place it down here. We don't have the space. Place a spawner there in anticipation for what's to come. Yeah, I don't have the money. I don't have the money for any more stuff, but that's fine. Right, let's see how let's see how this works. This is going to be our first multi-room setup and we're jumping like to 3 rooms. Which seems pretty important. Oh, I was going to move the potion dispenser as well. The first room is going to be way easier, right? The first room is going to be way easier. There might still be a few deaths here. The skeleton is our most advanced enemy yet. It's fine. There we go. Come down here. You kill the wraith. And the spiders at the end here. Probably a little bit anticlimactic having the spider at the very end of the tunnel. However, we now have a pretty decent sort of, like, flow of, of, you know, people and monsters and all that sort of stuff. Like, it all looks fairly well organized and orchestrated. Um, I need to check how much... I need to check how much uh, the Wraith gives. The Wraith gives 30 loot. This pod only has storage for 25, so we're immediately, like, losing out there. But, that, I mean, that's fine. We'll get a treasure pile, kill 16 visitors. We might be able to get that done. Although, I think that we've actually... We've made our dungeon much more survivable by moving the things around a little bit. With the exception of this middle room here, which is actually maybe a little bit of a challenge. Uh, everything else is pretty... is pretty doable. I think it would be sensible for us to put the potion... the potion machine at the very end. You know? It's like, uh... What the heck are you doing here? Okay. You're waiting to kill... You're waiting to kill a spider. Well, good for you, I suppose. Uh, yeah, I think... I think the potion machine being at the end here is pretty good. Uh, the wraith 
in the middle, honestly, is probably the most challenging room as it currently is. Uh, it's another slime. Okay, maybe that's maybe we've gone through all the monsters. That's honestly completely fine. Give me a, another slime here. Actually, tell you what we should do. Tell you what we should do. We should we should be sensible. We should put this. I'm gonna need to do this in three parts. But that should be moved over there. The spider and the slime should be there, and then the wraith should go in here at the very end. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get a light source in here. Light source in there. It's looking pretty good. Looking pretty, pretty fantastic. Uh, spike trap. Yep. That's nice. Oh, you know what I really should do? I should jack up the price of the potions here. The price of the potions should be more expensive at the end. They can, they can be cheap at the start of the dungeon, but they're going to be expensive at the end of the dungeon. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, the treasure pile. Yeah, I didn't, uh, I didn't actually... Treasure pile is 500 bucks. It's a little bit too much for me. All right, let's do, let's do one more day. Let's see how this goes as a sort of full, as a full operation. Um, yeah, we're, we're good. We're good. If you manage to keep your heroes happy, your prestige level will gradually turn golden. Indeed it is. Uh, we're getting there, which influence the number of heroes that visit your dungeon. Honestly, I think we're gonna, if we don't get gold right to the end of this, this first star, um, well, I might be surprised, but at the end of the day, look, it doesn't matter, does it? Uh, I've built something that I'm actually pretty darn happy with here as a as a dungeon, as a concept. There we go. There's still more. You want to face the boss battle. You want to turn around, you can. Oh, yeah, the iron chest. We did need to get an iron chest here. Yeah, purchase some more potions, would you please? At my extortionate prices. God, price gouging. Price gouging in the uh, in the dungeon market. It's It's great. You know what? Maybe... Maybe not a... Maybe not a fantastic dungeon, but it's my dungeon. And it feels kind of... It feels kind of good. It feels kind of good. And some more research to finish up as well uh, at the end of the day. That's pretty nice. Decent number of deaths. Seems... Seems good. Seems like a good number of deaths. There you go. There's still plenty of loot. There's still plenty of loot to grab there, peeps. Still plenty of loot. 30 loot. Wow. Holy cow. You got a good deal there, buddy, didn't you? There we go. Nice spike trap. Oh, we still need to get the attack totem or whatever, but... I mean, look at that. Look at that. Fantastic. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Research complete. We got an iron chest. Nice. That is that is definitely, definitely good. Uh, we've completed all of the objectives here in this, little, uh, in this little bit. I can't imagine that there is more sort of stuff in the uh, in the research tech tree at the moment. Uh, that being said, I'm really, really excited for this uh, for this game. This is good. This is um, this is still, you know, pre uh, pre release demo version of the game. Uh, what I see here, really, really interesting, really, really cool. Very, very, very excited to see where this one goes. Uh, truly, it's going to be it's going to be good. I cannot wait. Uh, for the game to release into a uh, EA, uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be fantastic. Uh, Dungeon Tycoon, ladies and gents, check it out. Link down in the description below. But for now, and for me, my name of course has been Obed Potato. I'll catch you next time. Bye.